Hello, this is Top Stories on Viewer Television. My name is Fisher and City. The presidency on Monday blamed former President Olusegun Obasanjo for the current state of Nigeria's democracy. The special advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Bayo Onanuga, who spoke to newsmen, noted that the democracy the country currently practices dates back to direct impute by Obasanjo when he led the country's first as military head of state from 1976 to 1979 and as civilian president from 1999 to 2007. The presidency's response followed comments made by Obasanjo at the high-level consultation on rethinking Western liberal a democracy in Africa held at Green Resort Legacy, Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library, Abeokuta. Obasanjo had criticized Western democracy, suggesting it had not delivered good governance and development in Africa. Also, the House of Representatives has summoned 83 ministries, departments, and agencies of the federal government as it begins an investigation into the alleged mismanagement of over 447 billionaire COVID-19 intervention phone from 2020 to 2022. Checks by newsmen in the budget of the MDAs show that at least 22 of them got not less than 447 billionaire as COVID-19 funds in 2020 alone. This implies that the COVID-19 intervention fund from 2020 to 2022 was way higher than the 447 billionaire received by less than half the number of MDAs invited by the House of Representatives for the probe slated to begin from November 27, 2023 and the end of December 4. Following the expiration of the deadline earlier given to Lan Alotis Oyen Ground Rent in Abuja, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory in Yasamwiki has extended the payment deadline till December 14, 2023. It was reported that the FCT administration in September published land titles of individuals, uh, corporate organizations, and government agencies with a reminder of the obligation to pay the ground rent on January 1st every year and stated in their given certificate of occupancy. In the publication signed by the FCTA permanent secretary Olusha De Adeshola, the debtors who uh, advised to pay up within two weeks from the date of publication, failure of which such titles may be revoked. Also, in Lagos State, Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzad has faulted the claim by the Public Procurement Agency that his office got two billion naira to purchase rechargeable fans, rechargeable lights, and fridges. He also claimed that his wife got 2.5 million each for her monthly outreach to indigents, an empowerment program as against the 30 million captured by the agency. Hamzat in a memo address to the Director General of the Procurement Agency said the approval for the project was two million error and that the report by the agency was untrue. Mischievous, fake and unfounded. Newsman reports that the state government Babajide Sangolu and his deputy Hamzad have come under criticism for approving 7.5 million naira uh, to replace liquid fragrance in Sangolu's office and 2 billion naira to purchase rechargeable fans for the office of Hamzad. Court of Appeal in Abuja has dismissed the application by the Ondo State House of Assembly and its speaker for an order hastening the hearing of its appeal seeking to obtain uh, the order by the Federal High Court in Abuja halting the planned impeachment of Deputy Governor Loki Ayodatiwa. In a ruling, a three member panel of the Appellate Court held that the House of Assembly's application for an order to abridge the a time for the hearing of its appeal was without merit. The court held that the application or the applicant failed to show exceptional circumstances to warrant the grants of such an application. 
Monthly revenue inflow into the Federation Account Allocation Committee fund has risen uh, from 650 billion naira to 1 trillion naira since the withdrawal of subsidy on petrol. Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economic Wali Edun has said he spoke in Asaba, the Delta State Capital, at the opening of a four-day retreat organized by FAAC members. The minister, represented by the Permanent Secretary, by Mr. Okokun Odum, has said the government released or realized that a petrol subsidies was not sustainable. Edun said the administration was mindful of the needs of Nigerians and assured that it will continue to implement people-oriented policies. The prospects of German investment in Nigeria's uh, power and rail sector brightening yesterday after President Bola Amitinu met with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. It was the second meeting between the two leaders uh, in one month, both of which focus on German investment in Nigeria, says Men's uh, Chief Executive Officer Sabine Dalomo uh, participated in yesterday's meeting. The objective was to break the bottleneck that have prevented the full implementation of previous agreements between German and Nigeria during President Mohamed Buhari's tenure. There is anxiety in the police of a plan to enforce the rule on mandatory retirement by officers. Those affected are officers above 60 years and those who have, been, have spent uh, 35 years in the service. They are expected to send their letters of retirement to the appropriate police commands according to a circular by Inspector General Kayode Egbeteku. Uh, he, however, said the affected over age officers are trying to resist the move to enforce the order. And the Police Officer Service Commission, which has frowned at the officer's resistance to retirement, said it is contrary to service rules. And in Plateau State, the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja has nullified the election of Mr. Caleb Mutfang of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as the governor of Plateau State in the March 2023 general elections. First, setting aside the ruling of the election petitions tribunal, which had earlier affirmed uh, confirmed Mutfang's elections. The court declared Dr. Uh, Yelwat Da Net Tawe of the All Progressive Congress as the duly elected governor and other the independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to withdraw the certificate of return it had given to Mutfang and issued it to Netengwe. Also, the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja affirmed a re Reverend Father Hansen, a layer of the All Progressive Congress, as the validly elected governor of Benue State. The court dismissed the appeal filed before it by the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Titus Uba, and declared earlier the true winner of the March 18 calls. And that's how much we can take on top stories. My name is Patient CD. Many thanks for watching. Do stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programs.